was an attack. It's one of the things that people were groundbreaking about the ramp when it first came out because they really made it a point to showcase, like you said, homosexuals and even um, multiracial cast members. We, not very, very few were white um, in the cast. Um, so for this one, because we've evolved as a people, we've learned to accept everybody for who they are. Um, but our goal here was really to depict everything the way they were before. So it's still set in the 90s and we're kind of being very strict about it. Especially in terms of how these people were the people in the play, how they were, uh, were depicting them the same way that they were treated at that time. Um, so the cast is, uh, the characters are mainly misfits. No? They're not the people you expect to, to join society and make life easier. They were, they were, they were, they were bohemian, so they chose to live life, their life, the way they wanted. And that wasn't always acceptable. And we wanted to show that. We want. We wanted also to show that effect. Uh, to make things worse, they had AIDS uh, that just came out. Uh, started in the mid '80s, but it really profligated more in the '90s. And the ones who were mainly affected by it, at least publicly, were these kinds of misfits. So, how did AIDS, as an overall uh, overall problem affect each and every one and what we really wanted to show was not just how it affected the leads but the entire company which is why which is why even from the publicity point of view we didn't call them ensemble or chorus we gave them the real names that they're portraying in this in the show so that they're recognized as characters and they're equally affected by AIDS and by by bigotry and, and all that. We're going. That's what. That's the main goal. Uh, we we wanted to show the younger generation how things were and how bad they became. But you know, there's always that light at the end of the tunnel um, that we wanted to highlight, which is why they survived and which is why the world became actually better. Uh, coping with it, living with AIDS together. Uh, it, the effect was worldwide. Sort of like what we experienced a few years ago with the pandemic. But this one, <coughs> people were blaming certain people for the disease. And uh, aside from showing how these how the characters will cope with living with AIDS we also wanted to highlight what caused it uh, what really made it spread number one was sex and then shared drugs so there's also that statement that had it not been that widespread it probably wouldn't have spread but uh, it happened so how do we deal with it now? That's the question. And that's what we want to show, how people dealt with it. Uh, when it started, well, the US government wanted to deny its existence. Uh, they, they called it the homosexual disease. They limited it only to homosexuals. But as we all know, it affects everybody, um, uh, regardless of sex. So we really wanted to highlight that and educate the younger generation um, and I think of all the shows that's ever been written this is the one that will really graphic can graphically demonstrate that part that time in our lives you know the late 1900s as they call it now <laughs> Yon, that's, the, that's, that, that's also going to be the main difference with our with our show this time this time around um, it's very very uh, it's going to be depictions of the joys of sex, not sex, but the joy of sex and the consequence thereof. Same with drugging.